Hey everybody, um, first of all, um, I just want to apologize for this um, video because I'm having problems with my webcam and I don't know what this is going to look like live, but um, anyway, I just wanted to go over some updates that, that I've done and then with some other considerations. Um, I had some complaints from people about ammunition and um, how I have my stuff set up, you know. Um, <clears throat> I don't care. I set them up the way I want to set them up. If you don't like it, well, I don't know. You don't like it. it it's all good. So, um, and especially if you live in Idaho, um, in Idaho, it's mostly potatoes, but once in a while, a truck might drive by because there's a lot of military stuff going on over there. And instead of potatoes, they drop the hand grenade outside the, the truck. So if that happens, you don't get on the phone and call the police like, hey, yeah, there's a guy, guy dropped potatoes on the road or hand grenades. You just pick them up and just take them home because it might be necessary and then um <clears throat> there's not a whole lot of there's not a whole lot of bushes around but um every once in a while you, you know you go into an area where it's a little bit bushy and maybe you want to pop a tent or something like that and uh, you just never know what kind of trouble that you're going to run into when when you go into certain areas so what what i like to carry around and probably what more other people carry around is <clears throat> the shackle this is called the shackle chop 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 You don't want to you don't want to get cut with one of those things, but it's good to cut down bushes and and whatnot. Okay, now um, a buddy of mine he likes to carry around a six shooter, and and that's fine. I, you know, there's no no problem with the with the six shooter. You know, six shooter is good as long you know cowboy. He, he's he's a cowboy, old school. I think he's like eighty or ninety years old. I forget how old. His name is. Bob or something like that um he's an old cowboy pulled a gun out and bang 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 <clears throat> I'm more of a shotgun guy but you know whatever um no there's a couple of other um situations and people is arguing arguing with me about this kind of stuff is uh ammunition what kind of ammunition and barrel length and all this kind of it's so confusing you know it's ridiculous is what it is so I'll just try and keep it simple okay what what I go with basically is and some of you folks know already that I'm all about Glock pistols I don't care about Smith and West it's not that they're bad but I don't care about Smith and Wesson Heckler and Koch uh, Johnny Jones down the road that's got his own little tool shop or whatever I could care less about that stuff I basically at, at this point um I'm going with the Glock 30 SF <clears throat> 45 ACP right out of the box super accurate complete destruction um it, it's you know i mean you can go nine millimeter 380 you know argument 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 you can just comment in the comments oh yeah this round is better than that round or that, that round is better than the other round or whatever you want to say I, I could i don't care right here mm-hmm Now, when you're in 
My friend lives out in Silver City. Now that's kind of like the boon towns of Silver City, Idaho. There's really nobody that lives there except the old spirits that used to reside there. And then you have security, which is Mr. Six Shooter. Okay. You don't want to run into Six Shooter because I don't know what that guy carries. He might have a 44 Magnum. He got he got his six pistol. He got his six pistol running. But then underneath the, the trench coat, he might pull out something real wild. <clears throat> so what I suggested to him, and he hasn't gotten back to me yet, but what I suggested is is you have to have a 12 gauge shotgun. I can't stress that enough. I'm trying to get people to understand that you have to have the 12 gauge. Okay. There's whatever. There's a thousand 12 gauges out there. But. <clears throat> the shock wave. I put a. Um. I put a side saddle on this thing and also have an optic rail on the top. I probably just put a red laser on it. It's good for nighttime. Yeah. All you got to do is rack the slide. That's all you got to do is rack the slide. It's usually you don't even have to fire a shot. Just rack and go. <clears throat> so the shock wave right here. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> now there becomes a situation every once in a while that um, you might have um, a situation where multiple individuals come over. Um. I know I talked before in my other videos that people get, you know, they're hungry. If there's a natural disaster or something like that, then um, people are going to be hungry. They're going to come over. They might ask you for, you know, oh, excuse me, sir, or ma'am, can, can I have a, a diaper for my baby? Oh, baby needs diapers. Yeah. You know, heck, we're 50 years old. Why would we have diapers? Can, can the baby wear an adult diaper? Just, you know, throw it on there. But that's not the real reason why they're coming over. They're coming over for your food. They want your food. So, recently, um, I did an upgrade to my AR-15. I took off the standard barrel that came with it in the early 90s. And I went with... Um, I switched it up for the M4 barrel and uh, I'm trying to get this in close to the video stand by see right here okay <clears throat> and um, that should take out multiple individuals Hopefully you know how to shoot because people shoot and they miss in the country. It's no big deal. You can miss all you want, but in a tight knit community, if you miss, who knows where the shots is going, right? Who knows? I don't know. So <clears throat> that was a little upgrade. And I, I was okay. The last thing is I was cautioned. My uncle, my uncle Doug, he's a retired sheriff. He said, don't talk about that stuff because the ATF is going to come over and raid your house thinking that I got like guns everywhere or something like that. That's not the case. But <clears throat> in a critical situation, it's, it's probably the best bet that um, 
you at least have a couple pineapple hand grenades. And it's not from Hawaii. Just because I said the word pineapple, it's not, it's not from Hawaii. It's just, you can get them anywhere. People come over, <clears throat> like, like what we was talking about earlier with the trucks, they're driving through, you know, yeah, 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 shoot them up. Yeah, bang, 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 shooting up in the air, driving all around. Yeah, get out of here. You know, the, the sheriff is telling them to get out, get out. The guys are like, yeah, we ain't getting nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. Okay. <clears throat> right here. Forget, forget about the guns. Just crack the pin. And just don't let the spoon go. Hold the spoon tight. Just pull the pin. And just pop. Jack that thing over. Just in a general area of where the truck is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bang! They'll leave right away. So, anyway, that's just kind of a, just, just a basic uh, update that, you know, um, it kind of mirrors already what we was already talking about before. It's, it's nothing new. But uh, just wanted to go through the shockwave and the, the AR updates. The hand grenade is like super last resort. And um, we'll be back next week with um, another, another video. So hopefully um, this answers some of the questions. <clears throat> and then we'll, we'll um, talk about uh, next week's video is going to be just strictly about ammunition. Because uh, I, I can't do it all in one short video. I have to get the ammunition. And we'll talk about that next week. Okay. So you folks have a nice evening. And I hope you got some information off of this. And aloha.